All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about removing walls and how to know if a wall that you're planning or hoping to remove is load-bearing or not. All right, guys, so I'm over here at the house that I just recently bought in Fondren, and uh, one of the things I wanna show you is where we are ripping out a wall. It's really important that you're careful when you uh, rip out a wall. You make sure that it's not a load-bearing wall. So let me just show you what we're working with real quick. This area right here with the fridge in it is uh, the dining room and and here we have the kitchen. I haven't ripped out the studs yet, um, but what we're doing is we're just trying to open this up and make it uh, you know, a bigger space, make it feel like it's a bigger kitchen because with, that, with this wall right here, it was a very, very small kitchen area. The fridge was right over here. The stove was right here, and you couldn't even open the door to the fridge hardly all the way without hitting the stove. So I actually have a property um, that I'm working on, another rehab. So what I'm gonna do is I actually had to tear out a little bit of drywall in the other house, and it makes it a lot easier to see um, without getting up in the attic if a wall is load bearing or not. So I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna show you how to tell for sure if the wall that you're thinking about tearing out is load bearing or not. All right, so if you're looking in the attic right now, um, you can see these wood pieces right here that run flat, these are called joists. And in older houses, um, these joists usually span half the house or one third of the house and they rest, you know, they connect to each other and they rest on load bearing walls. As you can see right here, this one is tied in to um, the other joist and it's resting on this wall right here. So this wall would be considered a load-bearing wall. Now most non-load-bearing walls are going to be running parallel to these joists. If they're running parallel to these joists, then they're probably not load-bearing. You're still gonna wanna get up in the attic and take a look at it no matter what you do. Um, and obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, you wanna get an engineer to look at it. Um, for me, I'm pretty comfortable. But uh, that's basically how you tell. Now, just because a wall isn't load-bearing doesn't mean that you should go ripping it out. You wanna consider what kind of electrical lines are running through that wall. You wanna consider what kind of um, you know, water lines or plumbing might be running through the wall, gas lines, all that stuff. All right guys, so that is how you tell if a wall is load-bearing or not. Like I said, I've got two rehabs going on right now, uh, and that's why I haven't been posting as much, but I am taking a lot of footage for you guys and uh, eventually all this footage will turn into videos. In future videos, I'm still gonna give you guys the breakdown and you know expectations for this house that I showed you uh, last week, and I'm also going to tell you a little bit more about this house that I'm also working on rehabbing right now. So lots to come in future videos. If this was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.